today's video I'm going to teach you how to create a, a natural warm smoky eye. It was meant to be browner than this but it's kind of turned out more of a mauve mouth. Um, it's slightly pinkier than I thought it was going to be so let's just call it a, a natural warm smoky eye tutorial. If you want to learn how to create this look then please keep watching. So in this video I'm going to show you how to create a nice natural smoky eye um, using brown shades um, and I'm going to stick with matte eyeshadows. Um, I feel like matte eyeshadows suit everyone. And from this eyeshadow look you can easily build on the colour to make it a heavier smoky eye and you can substitute the browns with different colours. So it's a really good eye look to kind of practice from um, and adapt to suit different types of smoky eyes or different types of eyeshadow looks. I'm going to zoom in so you can see the eye a little bit better. Bear with me. Okay so the first thing you need to do without fail when creating any eyeshadow look is to use a primer and my favourite primer is MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pop. As you can see it's got a nice yellow kind of beige natural undertone to it um, which means it suits most skin types. My favourite brush to apply this with is the Real Techniques, um, what is this? Deluxe crease brush. It's nice and dense um, and it's got a little bit of fluffiness to it as well which helps blend the product. And you just want to apply this all over your eyelid, up into the crease and up onto the brow bone. So for those of you who are complete beginners at eyeshadow, let me just explain the parts of the eye to you. Um, and no, not the uh, this eyeball part because that would be some sort of weird science lesson. So this portion right here is called the crease area and that's because it's where the eyelid naturally creases when you're looking straight ahead. And underneath that is your actual eyelid, so the space in between the crease up until kind of the lashes. The area directly against the lashes is obviously your lash line, so just along here. And the area above the crease, so from this portion up to your eyebrow, that is your brow bone. As you can see, my brow bone is quite large compared to my lid. So what I like to do is bring eyeshadow slightly higher than my crease up onto my brow bone to give the illusion that my eyes are bigger. Because if I just kept my eyeshadow just under my crease, um, you wouldn't really see a lot and my eyes would still look quite small. Say for example your lid space is quite large, then you may want to keep your eyeshadow kind of in your lid space area and just onto the crease and not kind of bring it above the crease. So once you've applied your primer, the next thing you have to do is set it with a powder. And setting your eyeshadow primer with a powder is key for two reasons. A, it will stop your eyeshadow from creasing and B, what's B? B, it will help blend out all the eyeshadow colours. Um, if you try to blend eyeshadow on top of cream, it can, can get kind of stuck because it hasn't got a smooth base to kind of blend on top of. So, there we go. To set my primer, I'm going to use a colour from the Huda Beauty Rose Edition palette. I'm going to use this colour Bay. Before you set this, you just want to make sure you haven't got any creases already built up on your lid because if you do have a crease in there and you put powder on top, you're just going to set the crease in place, which is obviously what we're trying to avoid. So you want to just go over your entire lid, into the crease and up onto the brow bone. This next step is a step that is common to maybe 99% of all eyeshadow looks. It's applying a transition colour in our crease. Now what that means is, is we apply a, a colour that is close or maybe slightly darker than our natural skin tone. We use this in our crease area to create a transition between our lid and our like upper crease. And this step is key to creating a really perfect blend. For my transition colour, I'm going to use this colour from the Huda palette uh, called Sandalwood. So I'm just going to take that on my MAC 217 brush. Let me just explain quickly about brushes. For this step, it is important that you use the right brush. MAC 217 brush is a really nice blending brush. It's nice and fluffy, as you can see, but it still kind of keeps its um, shape, which means that it doesn't go too AWOL on the eye. Um, it kind of keeps the colour in one place, but blends it out really nicely. You just want to circle this colour into the crease. You just want to keep on building up this colour until you're happy with the shade of the colour. So this is where you can play around with the shape that you want to create. So for example, if you want to create more of a cat eye, then you can bring this transition colour down in a wing kind of shape. And then you can bring it back in to the outer corner of your eye. 
or you can round out the eyeshadow if you wanted to give your eye a more rounded shape by keeping the transition colour um, in a more of a kind of semicircle around the outer V. For this tutorial I'm just going to kind of wing it out very slightly, not too much. So now we've got that transition shade down and blended, the next step is to deepen up the crease by adding a darker shadow. So for this step I'm going to use this colour here in the Huda palette called Henna. I'm going to switch to this Eco Tools brush, um, it's a dual ended brush, it hasn't got a name, it has a domed um, kind of end on one side and a flat, stunted, <laughs> whatever that is on that side, I don't really don't know, a, a teeny little shader brush I don't know um, I'm going to use this dome side to apply this eyeshadow because it's slightly stiffer than my 217 and I do want to be a bit more precise as to where I'm putting this color taking that color I'm just going to place it on the outer V and I'm kind of applying this in in a in a mixture of circular motions and small swipes and whatever's left on the brush I'm just bringing it into the inner part of my crease as well. I want that colour to fade in more gradually which is why I concentrated the colour on the outside portion first and then whatever was left on the brush I'm bringing it in to the inner corner. If you feel like it needs a little bit more blending in the crease just go back into your transition colour with your blending brush and just lightly go back over the area that we applied the darker shade. So I'm just building up the depth of my smoky eye here. Going back into henna with the Eco Tools brush and I'm just putting on another layer. I've brought this colour onto about half of my lid on the outer edge there. Um, I'm going to go a slightly darker right in the corner here to really add to that smoky, smoky, smokiness. Again using the Huda palette, um, I'm going to use this colour cocoa um, and maybe a touch of black, let's see, I'll go with cocoa first. So I'm using a pencil brush, um, this has got more of a point to it so you can really be precise as to where you're applying the colour. I'm literally going to take the brush and dot on this eyeshadow in the outer, very outer edge of my eye. Then taking whatever you use for your first blending brush which has your transition shade on there I'm just going to, in a circular motion, blend this little portion into the crease and ever so slightly onto the outer V of your eye. So I'm not going as far in as I did the, the second colour, I'm just going to keep this on the outer portion. So I'm going to add a little bit of black right in the edge um, because I can't resist. So again I'm going to go into the Huda palette, I'm going to go into black truffle which is the black in the palette. So taking that black I'm going to really carefully and really lightly just press it right at the edge of my eye, so the outer, right at the edge of the outer V. I'm kind of bringing this towards my lash line in the middle of my eye because I like to create this kind of winged appearance on the outer edge. And I may as well add a little bit into my crease as well at the top here. I'm just going to take my 217 brush again, my blending brush, and go over all of this once again. Right, so for the last step um, is just to add a lighter shade in our inner corner of our lid. So this time I'm going to use a shader brush, which is a, a brush that looks like this. It's just a generic flat brush. Um, I, this is a MAC one, but you really don't need um, an expensive version of this. This is just to help to pack on colour. I'm going to mix a couple of colours again from the Huda palette. Um, I'm going to use Bay and a little bit of Sandalwood. And I'm just sliding it on. I'm going to end it about halfway onto my lid. Because I will use then my um, blending brush to blend it all together again. Sounded like a nursery rhyme. What I do like to do with the inner corner colour is bring it a little bit above my crease here into this kind of socket. It really brightens up the inner corner. So once you have that placed then again go back with your blending brush and just make sure that all the colours blend in nicely together. 
don't know how many times I said blended in this video. Right, other eye done. So I always feel like I need to have something on my lower lash line. Um, just doesn't look right to me otherwise. So I'm going to bring the smokiness down onto my lower lash line as well. This time I'm going to take a brush that looks like this. It's like a flat angled brush. Because it's flat and it's got a nice edge to it, it fits nicely in our lower lash line to smoke out the bottom. I'm going to mix sandalwood and henna together. And I'm just lightly bringing up to join the edge of the, the smokiness in the outer V that we created there. So next, using the same brush, I'm just going to go into cocoa. I like to concentrate the darker colour closer to my lash line. So really wiggle it in there. So that's all the eyeshadow done. The last thing I'm going to do is add um, a black eyeliner to my waterline. I'm going to use Illamasqua's Slick Stick Eye Pencil in the shade Mass. And I'm just bringing that down onto my kind of lower lash line a little bit as well because I want a little bit of black to smudge through. And while I'm at it, I'm just going to tight line as well. I hate doing this. I'm just going to do my brows off camera and I'll be right back. So I'm going to add some lashes, but I'm just going to put a base coat of mascara on first. I'm using the Colossal Volume Express Mascara by Maybelline. Just a bit to my lower lashes as well. So for lashes, I'm using the House of Lashes um, Siren Lashes. They're not in the back here. So they're nice and wispy and I like the fact that they kind of um, are shorter on their corners and they've, they're thicker and fuller in the middle. So see how they're like more fuller in the middle than on the edges. Let's get the other little bugger on. I think this is it. I think we're done. So this is the finished look. Um, Ignore the hair. Don't really know what I was doing there. But anyway, um, I hope you like the makeup um, and I hope you like the tutorial. I hope you learnt lots. If you did and you did like this video, then please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Um, and hopefully I will see you on my next video. Oh my God, it's been some dollar. Go away screaming out loud, my in the air. It's my birthday, it's my birthday, I must spend my money. So let's get started. Um, so let's get started. Um, I have already... Mm. So in this video I'm going to show you how to, uh, how to use, not how to use a smoky eye. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a nice brown. <laughs> so in this video, I'm going to show you how to use. Why do I keep saying how to use? Hmm? So in this video, uh, am I going to mess up again for the 50th time? <laughs> am I in focus or am I blurry? I don't know. That's blurry. That is too far away. I think that's in focus. I think that is in focus. <laughs> 